Oh no, optimal. <laughs> what did you do? The, the birds are yeah, back at the house. I know we can't, but look at this damn pole. Everybody wants Wooting's implementation of SnapTap. So you know what? We're gonna call it for what it is, SOCD. Now, of course, it wouldn't just be SOCD uh, if we wouldn't have a Wooting twist to it. So we actually made it a bit better. You can now choose between different SOCD resolutions. And if you feel a bit unnatural about SnapTap, well, we made it feel more natural. It's very simple. When you press both keys to the end, you can have them both active at the same time. It's optional, you can turn it on or leave it off. Give it a shot, let us know what you think. And if you have a cool marketing name for SOCD instead of SOCD, then leave it in the comments below. We're gonna pick up the top comments, throw it in a poll, and who knows, that might be the new feature name. And I'm quickly swooping by just to say, yes, this feature is also available for all our older Wooting keyboard. So that includes also, yes, the Wooting one of seven years ago. So if you're wondering how to install this, there is a tutorial coming up, so stay tuned. To utilize the SOCD, please go to beta.wootility.io or click the link in the description. This function does not work on the standard Wootility yet. It is a beta after all. So once you're in Wootility, simply go to the top left corner and make sure you connect your device if it hasn't connected yet. Follow through the steps and then once you have connected your device, you should see a pop-up in the top right corner that there is a device update available. You can either click on the update button over there or go to your settings button in the bottom left corner. Once you're there, click on the updates tab and then make sure you click on update at your connected device you should see your firmware has now updated to v2.9.1 beta.0 and go to the advanced key step in the bottom and then you can see socd has been added to the list simply click on this press your a and d key and then press continue and now you can actually change your settings of your socd you can prioritize the last input or you can absolutely prioritize one key above another or you can have it neutral so it doesn't prioritize anything and like color mentioned before you can select the alternative fully pressed behavior and of course you can actually enable rapid trigger and then press done and then you can press the save to the keyboard button in the top right corner and voila it is on your keyboard and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy experimenting with socd and of course if you have any feedback let us know in the comments below and we'll check you guys out in the next one goodbye